CMC girls and the fighters. And here we go, guys. We got Ruben Martinez versus Leroy Martinez. Leroy being the black with red trim. trim. Good boxing, good boxing. Oh, Hard foot kick. to foot, foot to foot. Boy, nice kick by Ruben. Ruben being the the uh, white trim. He has the, the bright white. And Ruben Martinez, he's one and two right now. He's 23 years old, fighting out of Gracie Baja. He's an all-around fight mixed martial artist, and he's looking for that knockout. Now, Leroy Martinez training out of high intensity fit, Paragon in McAllen, and Team Embo. Good, good boxer. I've, I've actually had the, the pleasure of, of training with Leroy for a while, and, and this kid is tough, tough. His hands are really good. El Guapo, they call him. He's also gone trained with the Diaz bros. He, he, he's gone and trained with them. These fighters are both explosive. The 135 fight, both guys are showing some tremendous speed and power. Now I'll tell you what, Leroy is showing the better patience. Yeah, but Leroy is impressing me. He's showing some very composed boxing right now. Going up and down, he's mixing it up as well. Ruben needs to figure out a game plan because he's Leroy is doing a fantastic uh, job of pacing him, stalking him around the cage. Look at that face. He's got a cool, cool face right now. Good. Wow, good hook one cross. One, one, two. Good one, one, two. He got him with that good hook cross. That uh, three, two. Inside leg kick by Leroy El Guapo. Inside leg kick in return. It's that mirror effect. When someone gets a good hit, the other person wants to get a good hit too, and they do the exact same move. Good There's inside an inside Ruben. kick. Oh! Ruben goes for a takedown, stuffed immediately by Leroy. Leroy is very, very patient. Inside leg kick. Jab, jab. Good stuff by Leroy. Leroy looks like he's got this guy figured out. Leroy predicted that he's going to win by second round submission. That's his prediction for this fight. I'll tell you right now, Leroy is looking very composed. He's looking like a veteran fighter right now. Both guys are. I'm actually impressed by both both, both guys. They, they are pros. Very composed, but right now Leroy is the one who has the better of the stand-up and the better of the exchanges. I would have to agree with you. Both are showing what a professional, Good hook. What a professional fighter looks like. Good hook. Leroy, 29 years old. He's got a little welt on his, on a little cut above his eye, his right eye. And here's the start of round two. Leroy in the control of this fight has an answer for everything. Everything he's had an answer for, uh, for Ruben Martinez. Ruben has to do something quick to get Leroy, to gain Leroy's respect because Leroy's looking cool and calm. There he goes for a takedown. Ruben's working for the takedown right Good now. Good idea for him trying to go for the takedown against Leroy. He's not winning the stand-up right now. Now, now Leroy going for his own takedown, picking them up. Oh, did oh. not take him down. He picked him up, but he should. He, he needs to finish it. He needs to turn some. He can't just pick him up straight in the air. He's just wasting energy like that. There we go with that single. Nice. Now Leroy, it's in half guard. It looks like it, it, it's a it's a half guard. You can see that foot peeking out on the bottom. El Guapo staying on top. I've actually seen El Guapo, the toughness of this guy. He won a fight with a broken hand. A broken hand. I actually had the pleasure of watching uh, that fight. Man, this guy is tough as nails, and so far. Uh, so far, Ruben Martinez nice, hasn't been able to. Nice, but nice job by Ruben using the cage to his advantage, walking back up. And back down by and Leroy. Down. Yes, Leroy, good job by Leroy. We're taking him back to the ground. Now, Ruben Martinez has not put Leroy in any bad position as of yet, any offensive bad positions. But I'm very impressed 
with uh, Leroy El Guapo Martinez. I am also, man. He's showing some good composure out there, man. He's looking cool. He's looking calm. And he's looking collected. Composure, patience, experience. Some good knees, but from both sides. Another lift right there. I think Ruben needs to do a cross face, get that freaking pressure off of him or something, because he's going to get grinded out here. If I were Leroy right now, the only thing that I can say is that if I were Leroy, I would separate and, and, and keep it standing. He's been winning, winning all of the stand-up. He's wasting energy that he could be using to, to think, beat up Ruben. He, I think Leroy's looking for that big highlight slam, man. I think that's what he wants. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, look, he's in, in a guillotine. This is the Leroy's able to get out. He got caught. He's caught in a guillotine, but he's it's a deep guillotine, but it's a half bad. guard. Good composure by Leroy. This is probably the only danger that I've seen Leroy in this fight. Ten seconds, and it's safe Leroy. to say that Leroy's uh, won this round. Safe to say. Great. Good job. We've got a free raffle going on with some MMA gear. This is the start of the third round, guys. I believe Leroy's in control two to zero. Ruben needs to do something big in this round to gain some respect. Leroy, if I were Leroy, I would keep it just standing. That that is his world, and only, the only only uh, defense. Any any answer that that Ruben had was was uh, defending the takedown very well. And Leroy has a little whelp on his left eye there. Yeah, I see that too. I, I do see that. Ruben should maybe target it, maybe hurt him or something. Good body shot by Leroy. You can tell what kind of athlete uh, someone is just by their body. And Leroy is drenched in sweat, shining from the, from the light, showing that his body is used to sweating. So if it's used to sweating, it means that it's used to working out. And uh, this guy must train like an animal at high intensity. You can just see the difference. I believe he's a crossfit instructor. So I'm pretty sure his cardio should be very high. I agree. I agree. There's only one way a body could sweat that fast and that, that, that profusely, and that's that's by always working out, always training. And Ruben you can looks tell. a little lost right now. He's getting tagged, and he looks a little lost. He needs to do something, catch, catch his breath and do something quick, because he's getting swallowed up by Leroy right now. I know it looks damage-wise, it looks like Leroy is more damaged, but that is that is uh, totally inaccurate of this fight. Leroy's been winning this fight. Good push off by, by Leroy. Now, right now, Ruben, Ruben Martinez is in desperation, though he landed a good, good shot. Good shot by Ruben right there. Good shot by Ruben Martinez. Good footwork showed by Leroy. He's moving around. He's dancing around. He's staying, he's staying, he's staying away from Ruben's high, high power punches. Now this is Ruben's best round so far. He's being very offensive. He is in desperation mode. But Leroy is tagging him hard. Just when I said that. Leroy needs to figure out his reach. He's throwing a lot of hurt. Ru Ruben is missing. You can say you can see the conditioning. You can you can see that Ruben is, is welting right now. There's no power behind his hits right now. Good kick by Leroy. He's becoming very flat-footed. If you look at the flat the the, the feet of a Ruben Martinez, you can see it. He's becoming flat-footed. That is a sign of fatigue. Leroy's doing a great. Oh, good overhand okay, right. Oy, he's good. He is tagging him. These tagging guys him. are slugging it out right now. This is becoming a fantastic fight. He's got a body lock. Time. Decision from Mission K. 